I want to show you one more thing. We're going to go back into the print driver, file print, and once again, hitting on that properties button. I'm going to show you how to create a profile. First things first, we always want to restore defaults. So I'm going to restore defaults. Now any settings choices that I made in my last print job are gone and I'm starting from scratch. So for this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to create a saddle stitch booklet. And I'm also going to show you how to save it as a profile so that you don't have to make those settings choices again in the future. First, we're going to go over to the finishing tab. So if I click on the finishing right there, so we're going to select our booklet mode and then I'm going to click on details to the right of that. Currently it's set to letter half on letter. If I drop this down, I can make a different selection. Maybe I want letter on ledger instead. If you look down below, you can add options like folding and stapling, which is exactly what we want for our booklet. So I'm going to click on folding and stapling down the center. And once again, remember that if you do want to create a saddle stitch booklet, you do need to have the optional saddle stitch booklet finisher. So I'll say okay to this. Notice that graphically it's displaying all of the options that I've made thus far. Looks good to me. So if this is a job that you're going to be doing frequently and you want to avoid having to make all of these settings selections in the future, you can save this as a profile and store it in the print driver. So I'm going to come over here and click on save profile. I can name my profile. So I'll call it saddle stitch booklet and then say OK. OK, now I'm going to restore defaults to clear this out and I'll show you how to recall that profile. So if I come back up here to my profile dropdown, you can see saddle stitch booklet selected here. I'll click on that and then all of the settings choices that I made and saved in that profile are preserved for me and it's ready to go. At this point, all I need to do is select OK and print. So not only will this help eliminate waste, but it also makes your jobs move a lot more smoothly and quickly. All right, so I just sent my saddle stitch booklet to be printed. And you'll notice this blue light flashing on the control panel. And that's just indicating to me that the uh, print driver is communicating with the eStudio and the eStudio is receiving that print job. It's gonna go ahead and begin. It's actually gonna come out over here, down here at the bottom. And remember this uh, saddle stitch booklet finisher is optional. There you have it. Nice and clean, looks great. So that concludes our print driver module and I hope that you find it really easy and seamless to use.